Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's have a good time to today with each other. So...
senators and 20 representatives. We get more war support that we don't really need. Blow the Panama Canal. We could get improved working conditions, but eh. I need more steel. I don't mind doing this, but we're already doing one of these, I believe. Nation building. Uh, Haitian parliamentary speech. More daily legitimacy. Weapons for Haitian resistance. Honduran resistance. Joint Honduran American training exercises. Huh. Interesting. So we'll get more army XP, naval XP, air XP, and, as well as Honduras. And this costs a little bit of command power. Oh, I can do that. That's not bad. Excuse my nose. Ooh. Extraction campaign? Daily exile manpower? Uh. Sure, that sounds pretty good to us. I mean, it doesn't cost us much. It just costs us some command power. And we're already using... I thought we were trading some goods away. No, let's go ahead and get some more steel if we can. In Indiana this time. That would be delightful. And good. We are expanding slowly, slowly, slowly into South America. And we unfortunately didn't cut off these Peruvians from down here. So, Got to give it a little bit more time before we can do that. But that's okay. We've got, a, we've got time on our side. Definitely have time on our side. What's going on? Lost another plane, unfortunately. Not much is going on around here. That's interesting. How is this patrol group? You are one of the few ones that are actually not dead yet, even though, oh my gosh, you're only three destroyer level ones and a submarine two. Oh, good god. Oh, more. Oh, this is different infantry, actually. I'm just going to start sending them up there. I'll, I will reorganize those guys once we have a better control of the Pacific. What is going on? Oh! Improved rubber processing. That'll definitely help. Well, it looks like we're... Try Someone's trying to invade us. Five Japanese divisions against five American divisions. Oh, four Japanese divisions. Oh, I guess it's five. That's one reserves. Alright then. So be it. It is 1942, everyone. We need better... Ex oh, we could use better extraction, actually. Because the steel... We extract so much steel. 10% of that would be like 100 so actually, if we extracted another 100 steel, that would maybe solve our, a good amount of our deficit problems. Good, that is actually worth it then, in my opinion. Nice, we need less rubber now, so we can produce probably more planes. Fighters, yeah, I should have went with heavy fighters. I really should have done that. Oh, we lost the destroyer, so that's terrible. Uh, do I have... Oh, we have enough for a hundred more fighters. Which, actually, I'm going to use in South America here, because we could really use some fighters. I was so not ready for any of this war. I didn't even think I was going to fight in South America. No one likes fighting in South America. But yet, here we are. Uh, let's see, you going to come up to this group. It's fine with me. More convoys sunk, or at least one more convoy. As we are slowly... Approaching into Peru. I keep I keep wanting to call this Ecuador, but it's not. Y'all come over here. See if you can take these guys out. Yeah, they're just kind of melting to 20 width divisions. Ooh, yeah, definitely get infantry expert. Uh, you can't do that. Ooh, low echelon support. More ground support. Awesome. 1942. We're getting this. Let's get some M 1941 Johnson MGs and M2 4.2 4.2 inch mortars. And you're over here, so you'll be added to this group. Good. And let's keep the time going on. Nice, we sunk an early Japanese destroyer. And another convoy in exchange for a few more planes. Another destroyer was sunk. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Even if Japan gets more rubber and oil. Ooh, ooh good job, British Malaya. You've been done a pretty good encirclement. They only have 162 ships. Now, we, of course, we've lost quite a few ships as well, but... That's okay. Ooh, and you're over here. Sitting over here. Very good. Very nice. Nice. Awesome. At this point, there's still a lot of divisions over here. Could we, theoretically, all three of you, come this way? And then you guys can come through here as well. Oh, they're desperate. They're really desperate. They're, look how many attacks they're trying to send to us. This is going to really help out our army here for more XP. Uh, yeah, you guys come over here. You, you're you supposed to be the European guys, but whatever. Oh, we lost another destroyer hull. That's not good. And our main battle strike force fleet. 28 ships. Go ahead and combine them since I need more destroyers. We should be close to done with these repairs. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we are. I'm not sending these guys out because right now we have nine capital ships and we really need 36 screens. And we only have 19. So I really want to wait a little bit more time before I put these, these ships, this fleet, back into the water. I'm really going to wait. Even though this is actually a very powerful fleet, especially with these carriers and these pretty old battleships and an okay-ish heavy cruiser. Some of these light cruisers aren't very good either. Some, one of them is really good, holy cow. And then some of these destroyers are pretty good, some of them are okay. Even though they've done some sinking and helped kill some things. So, I'm just going to wait. I just want to make sure that by the time we unleash hell, if you've played Rome Total War 1, but it, we just wait until we get an extremely good fighting force. I don't want to send in a group of ships that, you know, they're good and all, but they're not as good as they could be which would ultimately make them weaker if I sent them out too early and make them more susceptible to getting destroyed if you send them out too early. And I really want to avoid that. I don't want to send out my ships. Oh god, our entire patrol force is gone trying to repair. But I don't want to send a group out before they're ready. I mean, unless it's like absolutely desperate, which it's not right now. I mean, we still have convoys here and we could probably do a little bit of, I don't know, raiding over here too. I mean, just split them up a little bit. It's fine with me. Even though a lot of my subs are dead. But that's okay. A lot of Japanese ships are dead too. So, I, I've pretty much, I wouldn't say reverse my decision on a few things. For example, such as on how to form a navy. Just because I have had quite a bit of time now to experiment with, ooh, let's do this one navies and last night I was trying out the German Kaiserreich not the German not the German Reich but the German Kaiserreich in another vanilla game just to see how well I could do with the Germans and the Kaiser's Navy which I will just call it the Kaiser's Navy and see how much damage I could do with an updated fleet Now, I made a mistake in that game, which I'm not going to share with you right now, but it was extremely powerful. I just basically kind of copied the AI's fleet that we saw in Japan from last episode or a few episodes ago, where you have like four carriers, four battleships, maybe four heavy cruisers, and the rest made up of, uh, of destroyers and light cruisers. So, I really tried that out, and it is devastatingly effective. It's almost overpowered, but of course it takes a long time to build up that type of Navy, so it's not exactly overpowered just because it takes so long to build up. You you really need to know how to do well in, with that. Oh, they're trying. Oh, they're trying to port strike us. Oh crap! That's not. They're learning. The AI is learning. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! They actually have. I need planes down here. What the heck? I should. Oh, I got another. I didn't put those fighters over there, didn't I? Or I guess I didn't. If that, if they sink one ship here using a port strike, oh, we found a lot of convoys. Nice, four convoys, one convoy, five convoys, eight convoys, three convoys. Nice, and another convoy. Nice, keep shooting down the enemy planes. Good, just don't lose anything here. You know what? I'm really scared about losing all this stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you not. Don't repair here. Leave. If you can, just leave. I mean, even the Philippines might be better than this. Uh, Senator speaks out against... I uh, lost four senators, whatever. Uh, nice. We've been doing some pretty good damage up here. Another convoy. And then six El Salvador convoys. All right. Oh, they're coming to Wake. Yeah, I don't want you to do Wake either. I really don't want Wake. Actually, Wake would be better. It's definitely better than over here. Why is that? Just because enemy ships or enemy planes can't get over here as well. Because the range probably on their planes aren't as good. Probably. Probably. And with you over here... Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not great. But you are repairing, it looks like, a little bit. With so few ships. Alright, well, it's definitely interesting learning 
from my mistakes. Hope you are learning from my mistakes and what not to do and what to do. Ecuador's looking very fine right now. Are you guys moving in? You guys kind of are. Uh, can you guys come in here? Can you guys come in here? Oh, I could definitely cut the guys off if we get enough soldiers over here. Uh, take you two and take... Uh, actually, I don't know if you can get down here. No, you can't. 68 against two divisions versus three. Might not be good. I don't know, we might win that battle. Let's see. Over here, we've got two divisions. We can probably come over here. Yeah, knock them out. At this point, with everyone down here, I'm going to tell you to go. Go ahead and do what needs to be done, even though I don't think... Wait. Oh, you're up here. Well, both of you do something. All right, come on. Oh, nice. Shot down three more planes. That's good. So, as long as you can repair faster than they can blow us up. That's kind of a good thing. All right, and you will come to this group because you are focused over there. Ah, oh, god dang it. How many convoys does Japan have now? I mean, I've been taking quite a few of them. 420, that's not bad. 164 ships. Oh my god, Japan has invaded both sides of this group. And they have a port over here. That's really not good. Oh boy. Yeah, screw it. You're not coming here. Like. Yes. Do not repair here. There we go. I want you to come all the way. Task Force 9, Task Force 4. Come over here. They, I might just lose them, but right now I'm going to lose them anyways because of the enemy port strikes. Which is kind of interesting to say that the AI, it feels like it's learning, even though it probably isn't. But it's, it's still kind of interesting. Let's see, fleet submarines, cruiser submarines, cool. And let's get some better subs. Alright, you're over here. And 11 subs isn't bad. I'm going to wait just for a few more subs before I, I unleash them and add them to the, the other fleet. Uh, we're doing some strike forcing here, but we're not finding anything. So I'm going to send you to patrol. Actually, you, yeah. Oh no, Kiev fell. That's not good for us. That's really not, actually not very good at all. Uh, I don't want to send these guys into the Pacific yet. That would be a very bad idea, because these guys will get blown up. But I do want them doing stuff. Ecuadorian government in exile. It's time for them to return home. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, supplies for the enemy. Could be over here. You know, don't do this. Do this. Yeah, that'll be fine. And send one of these guys to... Oh. Light cruiser. Heavy cruiser. 81 days. Send one. Try that. You guys are still sailing, surprisingly. You're doing okay. You're doing fine. No problems. No problems whatsoever, right? Uh, let's see. Not bad, not bad. What's going on over here? We are, yeah, definitely hopefully retreating. They do have some destroyers over here. Oh, another tank. Awesome. We're going to have so many tanks by the time we actually go to, like, war to invade Japan. Because I will invade Japan. I will do an island hopping campaign. How are our resources? 13 rubbers. Not bad. That's pretty good. We definitely need more steel, which will fix that up very soon. Honduran Excellent Leader offers services. Awesome. And very nice. So it looks like if we see this correctly, they have no more really really no more planes around here trying to release any more ships guarding this area. They've pretty much said no more. Ooh, more representatives to help support the government. I love it. So we need ships and planes. I need a lot of planes, but I need a lot more rubber still. I want to be not dependent on anyone else's rubber. So, uh, you only get one slot here. That really sucks. We'll do that. Fuel silos, I don't need to stockpile fuel. Do we have any better radar yet? No, we do not. Uh, planes. Well, I need to produce planes so they're actually kind of usable. But, I will add some anti-air starting from now on. They're probably Manila as well. And we'll add some up here. And maybe a f eh, don't. I think we're pretty good on factories. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, nice. We lost a plane in exchange for two enemy light cruisers and eight enemy destroyers. That's pretty good, I would say. And we sunk an enemy convoy in exchange for a plane. All right. 
very interesting. You don't repair anywhere here. Uh, five. Yeah, you guys are extremely weak. And then our strike force over here has 32 ships. You're independent, so I'm just going to add you in immediately anyways. Th nine light cruisers and 13 destroyers. Pretty good. Oh, we did add like, another battleship or something. So the USS Pennsylvania is part of our fleet, huh? Oh, wait. I thought it said that we switched to extensive conscription. Well, that's okay. We don't need a switch. But let's get to limited exports since I really need more oh yeah there we go i got all that steel now now we're producing very w nicely very well cruiser subs i don't ever use cruiser subs i don't even know what they really are i need to play with those some more let's see not bad not bad 66 subs definitely less than what we had originally but still not bad all right from here on out you know what you guys stop doing this because since you guys are all kind of split up awkwardly i'm going to send all of you up here I need all of you up here, and I want... Wait a second. No. I want all of you down here, because Peru will be much easier to take, probably, than anything else. And I want you guys to border with Venezuela, because they actually have quite a few of divisions, and probably... Two convoys... Ooh, that's two convoys sunk. That's not good. Actually, avoid this area if you can... Yeah, avoid the area. Don't just just don't say no. Avoid this area because even though we're not trading through here, we might sometime try to avoid this area. Uh, trade routes. What are the trade routes like? Uh, whew. yeah, definitely avoid the coast of Japan. Definitely do that. That'll be better. Definitely avoid all of that. Uh, let's see. It's not bad. I'll add you over here. Oh, a few more convoys sunk. Very nice. How's the Japanese casualties like? A million. That's not too bad, seeing as we only took 222,000. Uh, anyone else? I mean, Peru's taking over half a million. And Venezuela's taking almost 300,000. Pretty good, in my opinion. Oh my gosh. We found a lot of convoys here. But from Chile. Chileans have found a lot of convoys. Uh, let's see. We got a pretty good amount of house support. We could use some more war bonds, but eh, I'm okay with what we have currently. Expa expatriate donations from Honduras. Huh. Uh, more manpower? Sure, why not? Joint Haitian-American training exercises? Well, they need more war participation. Uh, Honduras? Or... Haiti. You know, let's talk about the Haitians. Let's talk about both. Because we can. Alright, so our guys are definitely reorganizing here, which is fine. I'm honestly totally okay with that. Oh, wow, look at Venezuela. They don't have a lot of strong divisions down here anymore. Ooh, Haitian exile leader offers services. That's pretty cool. Uh, take all of you and attack this group. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a boost to help you out. Now, are you sending any divisions to help? No. There's only six guys here. Oh, send the tanks in. I know it's a mountain division. It's not good to attack using tanks in that type of terrain. Can you do anything? I know it's four divisions. It's only one division I'm attacking with, but they're extremely, extremely weak. Oh, that is not good. We lost two subs. Oh, they've got screens here. Yeah, go ahead and disengage. You guys are on low risk. Free civilian factories. I'm out of places to build factories, so... I'm going to go ahead and build some places that have resources here. Oh, yeah. Give us some more oil and aluminum. Uh, yeah, this looks not too bad. Definitely California. And eventually we will do all the states as well, but I need to prioritize regions that actually give me a lot of good resources. All right. Close enough. All right. Well, you come over here. Cool. Very nice. Convoys are doing fine. We're repairing quite a bit. And our fleet is looking okay. Not too bad. So we really need 40 capital ships now. Huh. But we produce these screens fairly quickly, honestly. I could use a few more uh, naval dockyards, though. Which we are making. Which is pretty good. Ooh. Nash oh, no. National Spain joined the Axis. Oh, well, the Germans are advancing a little bit. Italy has invaded... 
Finland, all right. Carrier battle groups, more organization, more naval air agility, and M2 carbines. Awesome. Took me that while. Took me that long to get that level upgrade. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, super heavy armor shelling. Oh, this could definitely help our attack. Let's do that. It doesn't take too long to do. It's 1942. Better radar. Yes, absolutely better radar. And we have sunken enemy convoy. Very nice. Uh, what else is around here? And two carbines. Awesome. Very cool. This is doing fine enough. How's this fleet looking? Patrol fleet's fine. Fall of Gibraltar is actually really not good for us. And have we found anything over here? We found some Japanese convoys with using the Chilean peoples. Uh, let's see. One group... One group is already trying to refit, which is fine. Uh, three carriers, that's not enough. Nice. Better infantry stuff. Let's get a little bit more piercing. And we have another Japanese convoy sunk. So the Pacific is honestly pretty quiet right now. Lucian Truscott falls ill, that's fine. Send in you guys, send in you guys. That's good. That'll be very good. Oh yeah, you guys can just take these guys out easily. Just go ahead, walk right on in. Now, can I tell you guys, eh, you guys really don't have good odds of winning, so we'll all come down here, hopefully, and maybe try to win, maybe actually end up losing, that wouldn't be cool. Can we do the same thing down here, though? We're really trying to cause equipment casualties. It's really what I want, since we already produce pretty much enough up here. Yeah, you guys can just go right on ahead. Something tells me they are not going to make up this equipment losses or these manpower losses anytime soon. You guys come over here. And all we know is that we sunk three more Japanese convoys. Hmm. They have about 400 convoys, still 160 ships, which they're probably making more, of course, and repairing more, but it looks like the Je the, the British Raj is pushing into China now. All right, not bad. With Japan focused really on the East Indies, which is actually really bad for us. This is actually not too bad. All right, so really, like I said before, our goal is to sink convoys, which we have here, but to finish South America first. That is our goal. Uh, fun the Navy, Marines, transports. Uh, let's get oh more fighter production. Absolutely, positively have to do that. Uh, you guys, oh, you actually won that battle, but you got pretty much kicked out immediately. More excavation is good. Engineering, we need to get some nuclear tech, but that's next year. Naval doctrine, of course, is done. Air doctrine could can be boosted with not, no results, no results, and we lost. Oh wow, holy crap! So our allies or people who are co-belligerents in the war against Japan lost four light cruisers, two destroyers, and I lost a few planes and a few Philippine convoys. While we did end up destroying two destroyers and a converted cruiser hull carrier. Say what you will about converted cruiser hull carriers, but those are actually not too bad if you know how to use them. Senator votes for proposals. And yes, we are going to lose the thing in Louisiana just because I don't have very much. I, don't have, I literally have no more space in Venez Venezuela. No, Louisiana. Yeah, Ve Louisiana. I just don't have any more space over there. Uh, weapons for Haitian resistance? Yeah, sure, why not? Yunnan Free Empire. Nice job, British Raj. Holy crap, what's going on? Lost three planes in exchange for a convoy. Sunk two enemy convoys. Sunk another en enemy convoy. Another enemy convoy. Lost a plane. Holy cow. And then, lost convoy in exchange for one of our planes. Ecuador, Venezuela, you're looking pretty good now. You're looking pretty darn tasty. Go ahead and come up here. And actually... You come this way. All right, advanced competing machine. We're doing very well in South America now. Let's get a more encryption and then a little more decryption. And we're trying to take Caracas, the capital of Venezuela. Hopefully, if we can take it, it'll capitulate them. Maybe, maybe not. Because once Venezuela's gone, that's good. That's really good. So then we could focus more on Peru and as well as the Dominican Republic. And then focus... I might have to go to war. Oh, I don't want... Uh, I can't go to war with Guatemala, so that means I have to navally invade El Salvador, which sucks. But whatever. Go ahead and stop moving for now. 
as we kind of reassess our strategy at the moment. Okay, five divisions down here. I really can't afford them to get any more equipment at the moment, so go ahead and do that. British Malay has capitulated. That is really not good news for us. Uh, what's going on over here? Tanks. Honduran exile leader uh, offers his services. Very nice. I'm going to send you down here, tanks. Help give us a little bit more frontal attack down here. As we are slowly trying to expand further and further into Venezuela. Nice. Yeah, keep grinding them down. They will have no resources by the time we're done here. And honestly, I think we're done here as well. There's really nothing coming over here. We're already patrolling over here. So really, I'm going to send you to go home. I want you to, to repair in Virginia. Oh, wait. Come here to Virginia. Go ahead and repair in Virginia. In the next episode, we will send them to the Pacific. Any other troops here? Nope. Awesome. And sunken enemy convoy. Representative criticizes the president. Oh, boy. And, yeah, it's been become very quiet over here. Nice. We've, we've actually increased the amount of planes we have, which is extremely, extremely good. Uh, whoa. Oh, we've got some spare planes. Before we're done, I'm going to put some more fighters, some more planes down, even though the range is pretty pitiful. Uh, oh, over here. Yes, yes, yes. Up here is really good because that means Japan will have to send convoys through this region. Uh, put in... I don't want to use these carrier fighters. I really don't. But this will help us just in case. A little bit. A minor, minor amount. Put some naval bombers over here as well. Port strike. Naval strike. And to the south... China Sea... Uh, they're doing naval strikes over here. They're doing some naval strikes over here. I'm going to do... I don't know which side they're really coming through. I do know Japan needs supplies through this area. I know they need both. And we have a better range over in the South China Sea. Uh, who are you? I know your range isn't super good, but, you know, whatever. And then you're standing by. Uh, okay. You're not on your carrier... Oh, you must be planes that had their carrier shot or sunk. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see, that's good. Oh, oh, we lost a sub. Oh, they might have some planes around here, this area. And then over here, we'll add 100 more planes like this, and then another 100 naval bombers as well. And then these two guys will do this area. So that will be pretty good for the next time we go and play this tomorrow. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm ending it here. Uh, what are we doing? We have greatly helped crush more Venezuela, as well as a little bit more Peru. We've done some and taken some damage in the Pacific regarding our fleets as we wait and repair and make sure our next strike fleet, strike force, is even stronger the next time we send it out to do battle with the Imperial Japanese Navy. And we are kind of watching the Soviet Union slowly, slowly die. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And if you didn't like the video, sub like the video anyways. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.